Hey neighbors, it's Brad at eTrailer, and today we're taking a look at the Swagman XC2 on our 2020 Chevrolet Equinox. So this bike rack is really an awesome bang for your buck. Normally your platform style is, I would say, the preferred method for a lot of people if that's available. It does give you the most secure hold on your bike while transporting, and really it keeps you from having to look in your rear view mirror and hoping that your bikes are not hitting each other or the car. So that in itself is really nice. You can fit two bikes on here, up to 35 pounds per bike. So that should cover most bikes that you're traveling around with. Now, this is a frame mount, so you're gonna wanna be careful with your carbon frames. In fact, I would not recommend using them. That hold down on there could put a little bit of stress on that frame. Now, your step through bikes or some odd shaped frames, you may need to get an adapter bar, which will allow this to press on that bar and give it a nice even feel on the bike. So with our bike on our rack, let's take a look at how much space we have between the pedal and the rear of our trunk. So it puts it right at about four inches. Now, some bikes are gonna have larger pedals, but with the bike being solidly secure, I don't think you're gonna have any issues with it making contact with your vehicle or the other bike on the rack. One downside of this rack, it is not a tilting rack, which is not a make or break for some people. So with a simple ratcheting hook, taking this off of our bike is super easy. So it's literally the push of this little lever here. You can see it, it's already kind of loosened up and this can come off. So really, really nice feature for any, any of you that have ridden a bike and used a bike rack and taken it to places, having multiple straps is a little bit cumbersome. No wheel straps on this, just a single mount and just as much structural rigidity. So we can wheel our bike off. So looking a little bit closer at some of the features of the Swagman XC2, you're gonna see these wheel hoops that allow for a bunch of different size tires and widths up to 2.5 inches, which most bikes, unless you have a large fat tire bike or a chunky mountain bike, you should be just fine with this. Wheelbase is also really nice to adjust on here. You can accommodate just about anything with the turn of this dial. You're able to slide these however necessary to fit your bike. The center pin here allows you to drop the center mast either side, which is great to keep it low, but also gains you trunk access. Most times when I ride, I keep my helmet and all my supplies in here, so opening a hatch is pretty crucial. This isn't a tilt, but you still have that availability. So with our bike removed, I'm gonna show you another feature here. We have these simple pins that pop out and are attached to a cable, which is really nice for those people that might fumble with them a little bit. So with that pin out, you're gonna see the arm is able to fold up and you may have to move your wheel holder just a little bit to clear, but it pins back into place. I'm going ahead and doing the other side as well. Leaves you with a very compact bike rack for two bikes. Now, that's awesome for anyone that is short on space in your garage or your apartment or whatever it may be, you can take this off your vehicle and store it with no problems. So now let's take a look at some measurements on this rack. From the back of the bumper, the furthest most point, to the furthest most point on the rack, we're looking at about 21 inches. So something to take in consideration if you plan on keeping it on here while you back into your garage or parking spot or whatever it may be, good measurement. Something else you'll wanna take in consideration is the lowest point of the rack to the ground is about 18 and a half inches. So when you're going up inclines or if you're doing some off-roading to your trail, that is something to also think about. Now, something that is nice is this three inch raise on the shank. That's really gonna give you a lot more ground clearance. It does put the bikes up a little bit higher, but the style of this rack really doesn't make it too hard to load your bike onto. Now, your adapter here you can run inch and a quarter up to two inch with the adapter. This bike rack 
I personally like a lot. It's a platform style, which generally the price will scare some people off. This one is a minimalist design, but offers all the bang for the buck. No extra real frills, but for someone that wants to get riding and a bike rack's holding them back, this is a really good option. It's made out of steel construction and it's coated black, so it'll keep corrosion down to a minimum. You can leave it on your car and you can get riding whenever you need to. So that's our look at the Swagman XC2 on our 2020 Chevrolet Equinox. Here in our test course, we'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us a side-to-side -side action which simulates turning corners or evasive maneuvers. Once we get to the alternating speed bumps, we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or a pothole, or driving over uneven pavement. Once we get to the full speed bumps, we'll see the up and down action. This will be like driving in and out of a parking lot, or a garage, or a driveway at the curbside. 